Hey guys, quick update on the uh, Open Pilot port. Um, comma rejected the pull request. So I reiterated my uh, explanation as to why it is necessary to uh, perform the timing validation uh, and uh, maintenance of message sequencing uh, on the Panda. It can't be done in open pilot in the code on the, that runs on the uh, comma unit because the comma unit is not running a real-time operating system. It's running, well it was running Android. I hear the future ones will be running Ubuntu Linux. These are, uh, I believe, preemptive multitasking. Uh, they're multi. They're operating systems that, invariably, it is possible for something to interrupt something else and cause it to pause. Uh, it's you can't guarantee things happening exactly on timing at a you know. 20 millisecond level, uh, at least not the way the message loop is currently written. That is being in Python, um, in, rather than native code. Unfortunately, it's my understanding, even if it was native code, since it's still running on an operating system, it can still be interrupted. As far as the comma itself is concerned, it is sending the messages every 20 milliseconds. I don't know where the hiccup is happening. We don't know. And let's just say we did find it. And uh, we were able to stop the glitching. Or let's say that instead of sending the messages every 20 milliseconds, we send them every 30 or every 60. That's going to greatly reduce the likelihood of the, the steering fault but it's not going to prevent it there could still be a little booger goblin glitchy monster hiding somewhere that causes a pause and the moment that happens your steering column will no longer respond to messages if you want open pilot to work you've got to pull over open and close the door I'm sorry, pull over, shut off the car, open and close the door, sit there for about three minutes, two to three minutes, start it back up. <laughs> the argument is that the Panda is only supposed to include safety code. Well, there's a lot of code on there that isn't purely safety related, so I don't exactly understand the pushback, but... Uh, I, I tried to make the argument that the steering cutting out is a safety issue, but in their documentation they've explicitly stated that faults are not safety issues. Okay, so by that definition it's not a safety issue, but the fact that it's bound to happen, and when it happens people are going to want to fix it, people are going to pull over. If it happens infrequently enough, or if that's available, they're going to pull off the highway, possibly, and shut their car off. Or, they're going to pull off to the side of the highway, and they're going to open their door, and they're going to sit there. And, generally speaking, pulling over on the freeway is not safe. Yes, it's not the software making them do that, but it is creating a situation where users are likely to do something unsafe. Without having a component that is capable of reliably guaranteeing that a lane keep assist message is never sent any more frequently than every 20 milliseconds, there is a open possibility for a bug to happen. So I've made my lobby, you know, I've tried to argue my points in the, uh, 
in the GitHub issue, not feeling super positive about it. So what to do? I was planning to continue to encourage people to purchase a harness, which is a $200 value from Kama. And then I was going to develop the wiring harness, which would include the necessary circuitry from the OBD2 harness to uh, re-enable the low-speed bus. That's what uh, handles the dash notifications and like the brights, auto brights and stuff. Having access to the low-speed bus also, at least on the Chevy Bolt, will give us access to um, the messages from the blah, all the peripheral cameras, which in theory, uh, we don't, nobody's analyzed that I'm aware of what uh, data is actually available, but those cameras should provide some sort of information about the presence of vehicles around your car. Could be pretty cool to tap into that. We need the low speed can to do that, which is why we need this. Why can't we just use this? Well, we could. Um, that's an option. Uh, essentially, if we were to do that, we would just go back to using a giraffe rather than a an actual harness. And if we were to do that, then we could just use the existing giraffe that I've already designed and, and that has been, uh, sold and, you know, the schematics are out there it's even been ripped off in korea <laughs> how can you rip off something open source by pretending like you came up with it yourself nothing illegal about it it's just not cool that's one approach but we still need code running on that panda that is sounds like they're not going to be willing to upstream i can't support this many GM cars single-handedly being kicked out of the community also is going to make it difficult to collaborate with members of the community to provide support. So what to do? Um, I feel very confident this issue cannot be reliably fixed if it can even be fixed at all uh, purely in the code that runs on the comma. If we can't convince them of that, and they will not upstream it, that code's got to run somewhere. If not the panda, <laughs> well, I don't know. It may not be possible to get this upstreamed at all. Uh, one thing I had considered is, you know, replicating this and throwing a microcontroller on it and doing the, uh, doing the timing management on a separate microcontroller. Essentially, we would be putting a copy of the panda. So now we'd have two pandas. That's a lot of complexity for something really simple. <laughs> it's, I, I think... After I broke it down, I added, what, like eight lines of code? Maybe less than 20. Less than 20 lines of code to, to fix the steering issue. To have to add all that complexity of a second microcontroller, a second set of CAN buses, another pass-through, just to guarantee timing... If, if it meant that Kama would upstream it, I'll do it. But if they're not going to upstream it, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> so, I hope you can see my dilemma. I, I'm not entirely sure how to proceed.
I'm open to suggestions. I'm more than open to suggestions. I would like suggestions. Please, if you have a suggestion, let me know. I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up until we've got this thing figured out. I'm just a little concerned and uh, I'm not sure how to proceed. That's all. Um, don't blame Kama for this. I understand they're trying to they're trying to cover their butts. You know, they said that the panda's there for safety and they want to make sure that is all it's for. Uh, just, uh, I just don't want to maintain a fork, I guess is what it comes down to. So, I apologize for the length of this video. Um, wanted to make sure you knew that I am still working on it, and it is still the top priority. Uh, we're going to find a solution, and it's going to work well. It's just unfortunate that it's taking so long, and I do apologize for that. So, look forward to uh, more videos about uh, reverse engineering this guy and designing uh, a new harness, I guess. Or maybe just reusing it. I don't know. I haven't decided. So, anyway, uh, thanks for watching, as always. Couldn't do this without your support. Um, you've been great. You've been patient. You've been wonderful. And I am doing this for you. So, thanks a lot. Uh, if you uh, like this stuff, you well, <laughs> this video didn't have a lot of good content in it. But nevertheless, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, feel free. Uh, give, me, give me your advice and your thoughts. I'd appreciate any sort of feedback you can provide. Um, just try to be nice. <laughs> Thanks for watching and have a great day.